parents and students in boxes and bins battling patience in the heat. It's move-in day for first-year students at UNH in Durham, and it seems pretty normal, right down to the plan for fully open dining, activities, and classes on Monday. Lining up at the Whittemore Center, though, a reminder of the times, getting tested for COVID and picking up self-testing kits. The difference this year is we're going to test for the first month. Unvaccinated students twice weekly, vaccinated every other week. We know from last year that, that in, in the fall and in the spring that we spike around the second week of school. And so the testing will help us see what that spike, if it happens at all, is and we can plan ahead with that. Move in at Plymouth State University, very similar. Unvaccinated tested every week, 20% of vaccinated tested randomly. Almost 66% of our students are fully vaccinated, which is fantastic. 82% of those living on campus in Durham have shown proof. 67% of staff and vaccine is readily available. By half of the next five days, um, people at the Whittemore Center uh, there to provide shots. We've had a couple of dozen already this morning. No masks are required outdoors anymore, but they are required indoors for two weeks in Plymouth and for the time being here in Durham as they monitor numbers. We're not completely through the dark tunnel, but we definitely see the light at the end. University presidents on both campuses out greeting families, but prepared to pivot if they need to. We're going to manage COVID and we're not going to let it manage us. In Durham, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.